Hi guys, two expressions are given on the screen. Can you solve these basic math problems? Well, hopefully you can, but a lot of you unfortunately may get this wrong. And if you do get this wrong, it's probably going to be because of a very common misunderstanding. But in this video, we will make it super clear for you. Let's see step by step how to solve it. But first, try to solve it yourself and comment below for me your answer. So the first problem is, 3 divided by 3, parentheses, 5 minus 5, what does this equals to? We've seen a lot of people do it the following way. Look at 5 minus 5 is 0, right? It's going to be 3 divided by 3 times 0, right? Now 3 times 0 is 0. So finally, we have 3 divided by 0. Okay, then we'll see in mathematics, if we ever have 0 in the denominator, all we say is that the fraction is undefined. So in this case, the final answer is undefined. Wrong. This is the wrong way for us to solve it. Okay, let's see the right way. Now you have to be careful with the order of the signs. Always be careful to solve the signs in the correct order. To get the correct answer, let's first understand the PEMDAS rule. As it helps to determine the sequence in which mathematical expressions should be evaluated to ensure accurate results. Here, P stands for parentheses, perform calculations inside parentheses first. E stands for exponents. This includes operations like square and cubing or taking square roots. M and D are multiplication and division. These operations have the same priority and should be executed from left to right. I and SE are addition and subtraction. Finally, perform addition and subtraction from left to right. These operations also have the same priority and should be executed in the order they appear in the expression. You have to do a lot of practice problems if you truly want to master the order of operations. This is absolutely a critical part of all mathematics. So in this expression, we have a division sign, parentheses, and minus sign. Since we have parentheses, first we need to simplify everything inside the parentheses. So 5 minus 5 is our first move, which is equals to 0. Now the expression becomes 3 divided by 3 parentheses, 0. Now the 0 inside the parentheses is actually in the multiplication. So we can write it as 3 times 0. Now we are left with division and multiplication signs. Since both have the same priority, so first we perform the operation that appears first when moving from left to right. So 3 divided by 3 gives 1. Now we have 1 times 0, which is equals to 0. This is our final answer. So here is another problem to test your understanding. The given expression is 4 cube divided by parentheses of parentheses 4 square times parentheses 4 plus 4. Pause the video if you want to give this problem a try. And when you are ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So in this expression, since we have parentheses, first we need to simplify everything inside the parentheses. Here we have 4 square, which can be written as 16. And we write this 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay, now we have 16 times 8 inside the parentheses, which is equal to 128. Now this 4 cubed can be written as 64. Now we have 64 divided by 128, which is equals to 0 0.5. This is our final answer. Hope you understand it well. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more such videos. See you in the next video.